I think John Lyman is like seventh or eighth generation. Lyman Orchards is such a great place to spend some time with the family. Or your friends, or, or, or yourself. Uh, or yourself, exactly. <laughs> it's really great. They have so many different activities, and we sent Marcy Jones there to check them all out. Hey, hey Mars. Mars. I feel like I've won the lottery, you guys. I can. This is one of the places, the few places that you get excited to smell before you see what it is. It smells like cinnamon, apple, sugar. I told them. I just told John over here that you should bottle it and perfume it. I think maybe next year yeah, of a, a launch in fall 2023. I would wear that. I want a little stock in that. John. I would wear that definitely. I said it's <laughs> right? worth getting bit by all the mosquitoes. Who cares? Absolutely. All right. So John. We were just, Scott was just saying, you know, this has been going on for generations. This is a real family business for the Lymans. It is. You told me such a charming story about your yeah. mom and baking and kind of the origins. Right. Take us through for anybody who doesn't know the history. Yeah. Well, we, uh, the Apple Barrel opened 50 years ago, 1972, and we're celebrating that this year. But our first baker was my mom. Oh. And she um, incorporated, brought into the bakery all the kind of family recipes. Right. I love that. Make it really a farm kitchen. Mm -hmm. And that was really the theory of the, or the theme when we started, Actually, and we kind of built from there, and it was so popular, we've just kept expanding. Right. And uh, then we got to a point. Because mom had, mom couldn't crank out a thousand times no, an hour. She could no. only do so much. So right. uh, tw about 20 years later, we started getting interest with wholesale customers wanting the pies. Yeah. And we needed to figure out a way to take it from a small batch to a larger batch. so Without losing without that losing, from scratch. Exactly. Absolutely. All right, so, so we are going to, first I just want you guys to take a look at this. Oh, okay. we're looking. Yeah, we're looking, yeah, we're looking. It's going to fit in our car on the way home. But to kind of show us a little bit about how we are keeping that integrity of that homemade from scratch, Mrs. Lyman right. special secret, we're talking to Mark. Hey. Hi there. How are you? Fantastic. I'm really trying to figure out a way to butter you up to get this recipe, but he, he is a nut that I can't crack. No. Right? No. How, how, what have people offered you? Probably their firstborn, couple <laughs> a lot, of million? What? A lot. Yeah, a a lot. lot. <laughs> All right, so tell us what, uh, what we have going on here, because this might not be something that people are familiar uh, with. This is a, a special pie that uh, I make every once in a while, but I made it. This uh, is for the 50th anniversary. Okay. And it's a very special crumb. Yeah. Uh, it's equal parts sugar, flour, and butter, real butter. Oh my goodness. And what happens is you put it on top, and then yeah. I put it in a brown paper bag, ah. and I fold it up. What happens is you put it in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes. Bag and all. Bag and all. Okay. Really? What happens is it steams itself inside, and huh. all the flavor and all the sweetness stays in the bag that soaks into the crumb topping and the apples that are in there. That's incredible. So when it comes out of the oven, Ooh, the big reveal. It's really. <gasps> wow. Oh, yeah. my there goodness. There you go. That is a pie in the bag. That is a pie in the bag. That's it. That's incredible. So can you taste the difference when you have a pie in the bag as yes. opposed to one that does not yeah. have a bag? Yes. Wow. Yeah, you really can. And it's just more moist, more succulent. Yep. Guys, yep. my mouth is watering. Can we do that at home? Can we, can that we is, take that technique that is the and line do it at home? Uh, Filling that we use in the regular apple pie. Now, Kaylin's asking if you know if the regular Joe at home who does not have your baking expertise could figure this out. Is this something that you think you can do that at home? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks, you Mark. You don't sound so confident. What, yeah. Are we nervous that that we're going to set the kitchen on fire? <laughs> yeah. I have a you know professional oven, so it's. Uh... He goes. Well, I have a professional <laughs> oven. Well, now you're just bragging, Mark. <laughs> This we is incredible. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to see the difference, really, because it does. It looks a little different. Um, as you said, it tastes a little different, so I'm so excited. What is one of your personal favorite sweets or treats or anything, really, that gets cranked out of this kitchen? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's <clears throat> Those apple Oh, my gosh. How can we forget the star of the show? Lift that open. Oh, Take yum. a look. And we've got some nice apple cider to wash it down <gasps> with. We actually put the apple cider in the donut mix. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that why they call them apple cider donuts? Yep. Incredible. Oh, we got the, we got the fryer right over there. Now, on a, on a big day, how many do you crank out? Oh, probably yesterday, we probably cranked out close to 200 dozen. 
200 dozen. Oh, my goodness. Dozen. Absolutely incredible. Not counting the donut holes. Not counting the donut holes. Guys, Marcy, you Marcy, you've got to bring those back. There's so much going on. We will. We will. Can we bring these back? Is that okay? Absolutely. He said yes. Thank All right. you. We're going to bring them back. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. Thanks, All right. Mercy. And 10 generations the Lyman family is That's now incredible. at. John is eighth generation. Incredible. So. All right.